Well, good afternoon. It is approximately 96 degrees outside here in sunny South Florida. Guys, I really want to touch base with you, see what you guys were thinking, see how things going with you. Make sure that you guys are really putting into practice everything that you've been learning. You know, there's there's a lot of things that we've got to focus on and work on as we go through our day to day. One of the big ones, even for me, you know, is is making sure that I'm actually staying in touch with what needs to be taken care of. Uh, it, it's very easy to get distracted and sidetracked in our day to day. Um, but again, as long as we put that energy out there that we want to do this stuff and, and create things a certain way, you know, it, they say it takes 21 days to create a habit. You know, uh, and, and for me, that's huge because if you start today, you've only got 20 days left and that's not that long. So why wouldn't you want to start today? Why would you not want to create that habit, create that selling point, create that influx, that positive change starting now? You have to make a conscious effort and you have to be intentional with what you're going to do and continue through with it. Don't sit here and, and make these sidelong ideas and then never execute. That's why, again, you know, Gary V, when he says ideas are shit, execution is everything. For me, that's huge. You know, and excuse the expletives if they do bother you. Um, some of the stuff I am using direct quotes from and some of the stuff I do get passionate about and I do kind of allow myself to get sideways. But in all seriousness... Ideas really are garbage without proper execution. You must have that intent and be intentional in what you're going to do. Move forward every day with a purpose. Just create a goal. If you have to, the night before, sit down and write down the goals, the things that you want to complete tomorrow. You know, do everything today that you can. And then once you've burnt that last little bit of light that you can use, write down your list of things you're gonna get done tomorrow and then use proper time management to go ahead and check each one of those things off your list. And then that night, go ahead and reset your goals for the next day. And this way, you're gonna start creating that habit of creating a goal structure for yourself and creating a, a continuous flow of productivity. Creating that flow of productivity really allows you to take control of your life and your lifestyle and your future. You know, this is one of the many things that I talk about with doing something today that your future self will thank you for. By taking that time to really put in that effort and that work, you are allowing yourself to start putting that out in the world that this is what you wanna do. And when you start putting that positive energy out into the universe, great things come back to you, it really does. You have to ask for it, believe it, receive it, and have that attitude of gratitude. You know, it, the attitude of gratitude is huge. I heard this the other day and it really stuck with me. You know, we sit here too often and we compare our success to everyone else's. And really you have to step back and you have to be grateful for everything that you have in this moment. Once you are happy with everything that you have in this moment, you can then progress to get the other stuff that you would like. You know, I'm not saying be content by any stretch of the imagination because being content leads you to being mediocre. But be happy that you are where you are because that means that all this struggle before has led here. And that means all this struggle that you're about to go through is going to lead here. And then you're going to keep going and you're going to keep building higher and you're going to keep building more volume for yourself and you're going to continue to build this foundational structure that is just going to be awesome. I've, I've seen it. I've started putting a lot of this stuff into, into work the past two years really, really started listening to my own advice probably about four or five months ago. Because like I said, you know, yesterday's video, I kind of laid it out on the line, you know, I haven't always been this upbeat, chipper, cheery person. I had a, a, a run of time, you know, where, and I'm going to dig in a little bit further in my past. Why not? We got some time. Growing up, I was always bullied. I was always picked on. I was always the one that was outcast. And, and I also perpetuated the, the bullying myself because once I became ostracized, I then allowed myself to ostracize me even more. 
because it got to the point to where, well, I wasn't fitting in, so then why would I want to fit in? And in a way, it's true. You don't want to fit in with everybody else, but on the same token, if you're in sales, the people around you are the ones that are buying from you. So you kind of got to not, it, it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act of people liking you and enjoying being around you and you enjoying who you are as well. Once I understood that and that all clicked, it was probably about, oh God, 10 years ago when that all finally clicked for me because even up in, I had that awkward phase from everybody goes to the awkward phase in middle school. Well, I didn't grow out of that until probably about 22 years old. And that, that was huge for me. You know, 22, 23 is when I finally started coming out of my awkward stage. And, and I still have a little bit of my awkward tendencies. We all do. We're human beings. I'm, I'm weird. I'm a nerd. And you know, it, it, it comes out. But when I look back at my past and I look at that, I, I learned a very valuable lesson from that. And that is that that realm of negativity grew on me because I allowed those words to have power over me. I allowed that situation to control and have power over me. And really what it boils down to is the only person who has power and control over you is you. That's it. Yes, words hold power. Words of probably words and thoughts are the most powerful things out there in this universe. You can literally talk into reality, emotions, feelings, situations. You can think them into into existence as well. And and that's all done through the planes of energy, you know, and and everybody's probably going, you're probably rolling your eyes right now at me, but it's true. If you seriously sit down and think about it, look at it. And I'm going to use this example. I heard this example the other day and, and it really, it really rang true with me and it really stuck with me because a lot of people know I am not that big of a morning person. You guys probably see it in the mornings when I'm on my videos and I'm still yawning because, you know, I've been up for an hour or two, but It takes me a little bit to get my tuchus in gear first thing in the morning. But I thought about this because in this example, it went through talking about, you know, if you stub your toe first thing in the morning and you hold on to that negative, it seems like everything else goes wrong throughout the day. And I thought about it and I was like, wow, that's absolutely true. And then I started looking back at at my childhood and my my preteen years and my teen years And I realized that there was a lot of negativity going on at that point in my life and I held on to it. Between home and school and other stuff going on in my life, there was a lot of negative going on. And I really, like, I grasped onto that and I I clutched onto that negative emotion, that negative feeling, and it carried on for a long time. And that seed that was planted kept growing and growing and growing and growing and that seed bred self-doubt. It bred insecurity. It bred anxiety, it bred depression, it bred all of this negative crap that I went through. And then I, I, I have now pushed out. And yes, it, it's been, you know, I, I went through a, a, a relationship that eh, I'm not going to get into, but that allowed more perpetuation of that to now I'm sitting in a situation where I can actually truly be happy. And the only person I have to blame for my faults are me. And that's huge because a lot of people can't even do that. They can't even look at a situation and go, you know what? I'm the reason for this. They try to blame it on everybody else. And that goes back to my my video of proactive versus reactive. You know, being proactive, you sit there and you go, wait a minute. I need to stop. I need to fix this because I'm the one that's perpetuating this negative circle, you know, or as, as I've written in my book, the circle of failure, you know, because, and, and that's a reality too. There, there is this negative circle of failure that once we fall into that paradigm of negativity and that, that'll go through your household, your relationships, your work, your friendships, you know, it, that circle of negativity will just keep rotating. But 
once you start to build on that positive platform and really start to build out that positivity, you now start to pick up that hammer and turn that circle into a linear object, that road to success. And it, it's huge. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it because it's true. You know, it, if you wake up every morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and you smile and you tell yourself, I love you. This is gonna work. This is our day. I will seize today and make it mine. The power that will come out of that, the power that you will feel, as long as you mean it, as long as you are staring yourself in the eyes and you mean every word of that, the power that you feel will give you chills. I'm getting chills just thinking about it because this is what I do every morning. Every morning I look myself square in the eyes and I go, today's your day. I love you, you handsome devil. You are going to get this done. And then I go out and I seize that day. And it, it takes a little bit of a build up. And, and, but once that energy starts to build up and it continues to go, it, it's like it just can't stop. It, it can't. You know, and then don't get me wrong, you know, bad stuff happens. It happens to everybody. Like my AC went out today. The middle of Florida, it's 97 degrees outside. My air conditioner doesn't work, but guess who's still smiling? Guess who's still got a cheesy ass grin on his face? Cause you know what? It ain't gonna bring me down. It can't bring me down. I'm too far up to get brought down. I'm over it. There, there, nothing, there's nothing that could happen. That is going to bring me out of this, this run that I am in. Because I have taken control of my life. I have taken my circle of failure and I have ironed it flat. I have created my own road to success. I'm building off that. And on that road, I am creating little points, little pit stops, little milestones. That this company and that company and this business and that business and this influx and that influx and this relationship and this friendship and this business partnership and this venture. I mean, come on. It's just a straight line, just as straight as the road I'm, I'm driving down right now. Guys, it's huge. It, once you realize the potential and the power that you have, it's amazing. When you take control of your own brain and you get in there and you rip all that negativity out and you push it away and you say, I am done. I quit. I quit the negativity. And you start pulling yourself together and you start going, man, I love the person that I am. Man, the power that comes out of that, I, I get giddy just thinking about it. Like I want to start laughing right now. And people are staring at me on the road because they think I'm on some kind of drugs and I'm not. It's just the power that comes through to you. It's that power that you hold inside that, my God, it's great. When you start to realize, and okay, here, here's one for you. For all my Christian friends out there, for all my, my God-fearing, lo God-loving people out there, God said that he created you in his image. That means he made you a God. He made you a God of your own future. You control it. Come on. And I'm getting excited about it because it's true. Like, the amount of just energy that is flowing around me lately is just amazing like I am just so on cloud nine I have been for god I can't tell you how long you know like I said I I still get those moments and they're just little flashes and, little boop. and I'm like you know what go away and then I stick back on this happy run and I'm just ah and you know activity breeds activity production breeds production and energy you know, it, it breeds more energy and in positivity breeds more positivity. So you got to just hold on to it, hold on to it and run with it. My goodness, the amount of power that is in everything that we do every day is amazing. It's beautiful. The amount of just... Oh, I just, I can't even describe it. It's just, there, there's a point in your life when you just get to that, that, that hook, you get hooked on it and it becomes that, that energy that you just want to like, 
take it like a, a warm blanket out of the dryer to wrap yourself up in and hold on to it because life is good. Life is amazing. Life is exactly what you make it. If you stay in that negative uh, mode, you're going to stick there until you kick yourself in the butt and get yourself running again. The amount of energy that we spend being negative can be used somewhere else. And, and I, can't, I don't even want to say spend it being negative. We waste it. We waste good energy being negative. What is wrong with us? We live in a world where information flows so freely to our fingertips. And it, Power and energy has become part of our every day. So why don't you harness that internal energy, that internal power, and restructure it and, and, and change it? Again, first law of thermodynamics states that matter and energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only changed in form. Take that negative energy, change it into positive energy, and create that empire create that structure around you guys i'm gonna leave you on that high note i am pumped i don't know about you i'm excited like share subscribe y'all are probably gonna be laughing at me and i love it because you know what this is great like i said you guys you guys are the, the reason i continue doing this you guys are the reason i keep going so please like share subscribe share this with your friends i gotta get to 500 subscribers please i want to do this free release i finished my book last night i'm probably gonna go through and write some more anyway because i don't think it's long enough i don't think i told you guys enough but i love you guys and i will see you guys tomorrow